I'm going to be making some strawberry jam today. It's quite simple. It sort of looks a little bit more complicated because there's lots of bits, but it's really not that complicated at all. You need some jars, you need some strawberries, and I'm using a jam setting sugar. So all that is is a sugar that already has some pectin in it. Strawberries are not very high in pectin, so that's what causes the jam to set. So you want to make sure that you've got enough in there to set. If you just have regular sugar, you can also add pectin to that instead of a, using a jam sugar, and that will help them set as well. I've also got a jam funnel to get my jam into the jars and some jar lifting tongs because the jars are going to end up being quite warm so make sure I don't burn my fingers. I also have a large um, stock pot that I'm going to be cooking my jam in. I don't have a jam pan so it's just a large pot which will work fine and then I also have a large pot that I'm going to sterilize the, or seal the jars in afterwards for 10 minutes or so. So there's a couple of things that I need to do first. I need to wash my strawberries and hull them. So to hull them all I'm going to use is this uh, cute little gadget which is called a strawberry huller. You can use a knife, you can use your fingers, you can take the green tops off any way you want. But I'm going to use this little gadget, it works really really well, uh, nice just little metal kind of pincers really. The other thing I need to do is sterilize all of my jars and my bands and my lids. So the way that I sterilize those is in the oven. I have my oven pre preheated to 110 degrees Celsius or about 225 Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop them in there and leave them for 10 minutes without checking them. I'm not going to open the door or anything like that. Just leave them for 10 minutes and that will mean that they're sterile. Once the 10 minute time is up, I'm going to turn the heat off but I'm going to leave them in there until I'm ready with the jam. So I'm going to put those in the oven now and I'll start hulling my strawberries and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've rinsed my strawberries and I'm just going to start hulling them. So very simply, I'm using my little tool. I'm just going to go in and take the little green top off and then I'm just going to toss the berry in the bowl. So very simple process, very easy. I do like my little tool. It makes it a little bit easier. Again, you can use a knife if you want or you can just use your fingertips and pinch the little tops off entirely up to you. But this does uh, save a little bit of effort. I'm going to keep going. This does take a little bit of time to do this, so I'm going to keep going. And once I finish this, I'll come back and we'll weigh our strawberries because we're going to do equal amounts of strawberries to um, our jam setting sugar. Okay, so I've finished hulling all of my strawberries. Now I need to weigh them out because I'm going to do equal weight in strawberries and equal weight in sugar, in my gem setting sugar. So we'll just pour these into our bowl. Trying not to lose any. Alright, 1.4 uh, 1.4 kilos I've got there. So we'll just take that off and grab another bowl. There we go, our new bowl. So we'll zero that. And then I need 1,400 grams or 1 1.4 kilos of my jam setting sugar. So that's one kilo just there. So that's my equal amounts. Now bring this over to my pan, put them together and we'll start making our jam. Okay, so there are a couple ways to do this. I like to leave my berries whole because I like to have whole fruits sort of still in my jam. But what I will do is once they've started to sort of break down a bit, I will crush up a few of them so we get a little bit of pulp and then a little bit of fresh berries. 
but basically we're just going to put all of our strawberries and all of our sugar into our pan. Turn that on to very low heat. Sort of a medium low heat. And then we're just going to stir that around and what we want to do is slowly let the sugar dissolve with the strawberries. Not letting it boil, just getting it all dissolved and melted together. Okay, so we're still dissolving our sugar nice and slowly. We don't want it to burn. So this is what it looks like about 10 minutes in or so. I've just been stirring it through, making sure the sugar is not sticking to the bottom of the pan and that all the berries are moving around and not sticking either. So it's starting to all melt nice and smoothly now. We'll keep going until all the sugar is dissolved and then bring it to a boil. Boil it for about 10 minutes or so uh, and then we'll check to see if it's going to set. So uh, I've popped a plate into my freezer. So at this point if you pop a plate into your freezer what we'll do is we'll bring that out. Once we think it's all done put a little drop onto the plate and if it wrinkles on the side then the jam will set once you've let it cool. So we'll keep going until all our sugar is dissolved and then bring her to the boil. Not quite there yet. Okay, so most of my sugar is dissolved. And I'm ready to bring this to a boil. Now if you have a candy thermometer, it definitely helps um, for making sure that it's at the right temperature. Now I've warmed that slightly in some water so it's not too much of a shock popping it in there. And on here it does actually have a nice little jam setting on it. So you can just make sure that it is at the right temperature. I'll still show you how to use a plate out of the freezer to check as well, but if you have a jam thermometer or can borrow one or get one, it definitely helps make sure that your jam is going to set once you bottle it. So I'm quite happy with that, so we'll just take my spoon out for a second. Okay, so at this point I just want to mash up some of the fruit. It's been cooking a little bit so they're a little bit softer. As I said, I quite like whole fruit in my jam, so I don't really want to mush up too many of them. If you like really smooth jam, you can always cut up all of the berries beforehand so they're in smaller bits so that you they'll break down quicker when you're cooking them and you'll get sort of a less chunky jam. But I definitely prefer a much more chunky jam just a personal preference so I'm gonna go and I'm just using if you've noticed um, just a regular masher not one with the little holes but enough room to let the fruit get squished through you don't want to get it stuck in a whole bunch of little holes or anything like that so I'm just gonna do this I could cut them up beforehand but I find that just while you're melting your sugar this allows the fruit to soften enough for me to squish up some of it in the pan. Okay, so that's mash up of enough for me. I like the consistency of my berries now. So I'm gonna turn the heat up on this to a medium high. And we're just going to bring it now up to jam temperature. And I actually want a full rolling boil, so now I'm going to turn it all the way up to high. I don't 
want my jam to catch on the bottom, so I'm just going to keep stirring it around. Okay, now we've got it to just starting to boil now. I'm just going to let it keep boiling until we get to jam setting stage. I don't know if you can quite see the thermometer. There we go. So we're just waiting for it to get up to that jam mark. Zoom back out. So then a nice rapid boil going. So we're getting quite a lot of foam on the top of there as well, which we want to scrape off. So you're just going to use a spoon and just skim off that foam. Careful, it is hot jam, hot bubbling jam that is um, sort of spitting and stuff, so do be careful with your fingers while you're doing this. I'm only using a spoon. If you have a longer one, that's probably a little bit better idea. Or like me, sort of stay away from the sides, or the middle, stay towards the sides. And take off as much of that foam off the top as you can. Okay, so that's hit your jam temperature at the top. So I've just grabbed my plate out of the freezer. And we're just going to take a little bit of our jam and pop that onto our plate like that. And then you're just going to leave it for a second. And then you're going to try and push your finger through. And turn it this way so you can see. So you pop your finger through. See how it wrinkles on the sides? It's just wrinkling as you push it through. That's what you want to see. So you just want to see it sort of wrinkle like that. That means when we pull it down, bottle it, it will set for you. So now that it's at that temperature, I'm going to turn off the heat. There we go, our lovely jam. So now while that's still hot, we need to get the hot jars out of the oven. So they've just been actually in the oven the whole time at 225 Fahrenheit or 110 Celsius. I've been using half pint jars. They've got a lid and then the band that you tighten on the top. It's a great size I find for giving as a gift or just having a little bit out at a time. So I'll get set up to start bottling my jam and I will come back. Okay, so with my jam still hot and my jars straight from the oven, I want to bottle this. Obviously you don't want to put the hot jam into a cold jar either, so we're going to make sure that the jars have just come out of the oven. I've got my funnel here to hopefully save me a little bit of mess, um, and uh, just a regular metal ladle uh, which I was boiling, or you could pop into the oven as well. So just taking, I'm going to give this a little bit of a stir, and then we're going to ladle this into my jar. There we go. So that's one. Oh, I can put a little bit more in there. So I want to fill these not super full. You still need to leave a little bit of space at the top for them to expand. Um, 
so I'm going to leave probably two centimeters or maybe half an inch on the top, quarter of an inch. Um, so I'm just going to keep going through and filling all of my jars. So now we've got all our jam in our jars. The next step is to make sure carefully that all of the jars are wiped clean just around the top where your seal is. You want to make sure that that's going to adhere properly so if you spilt any jam on the edge you just want to go through and clean that off. Make sure that you're going to get a nice tight seal on your jars. So now we need to put our lids and our bands on. So we just place the lid on top of the jar, just like that. There we go. And then we're just going to screw our band on to just finger tight. So all you want to do, you need to leave room for it to be able to, so just finger tight, that's it. I'm not tightening them all the way yet. You need to leave room for them to expand while you heat them in the water bath. So just quickly put the bands on nice and not loose, but yeah, just, just sort of easy to tighten. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that. There we go. So all our jars have their lids on it. Now we want to pop these into our water bath. So I've got some simmering water. Okay, so we're ready to process our jars for the final time before they're finished. I've got my pan with boiling water. You can see the um, tea towels floated up. This is when the jar lifting tongs come in handy because the jars are hot and obviously the water is boiling. So I'm just going to use them to lower them in. I'm going to pop one into the middle first so it holds my tea towel in place. And then we'll fit some in around that. There we go. So I've got my jars in there. Now I'm going to put my lid on. And we're going to bring that back to a boil. To a much rapid boil. So now that I've got these at a steady boil, I'm just going to boil them for 10 minutes and then we'll take the lid off of there and let them cool down for 5 minutes, take those out and then put the next batch in. Okay, so my jam's been processing in its jars in my pot for 10 minutes now, so I'm going to take the lid off now. So those will be done. So I'm just going to, a lot of them say you can cool it in there. Um, as I've got some more jars to process, I'm going to be, just let it stop bubbling quite so much. Now that the lid's off and then carefully reach in and pull these out. And I'm just going to pop them onto my tea towel on the tray. And there we go. I'll just move that down. Those are my first batch of processed jars. So now I'll do the next batch and then we'll let all of them cool. So we'll pop that back there and get our next batch in. Okay, so all of my jars have been processed now. We did two batches at 10 minutes each. So they're now ready to cool down on the wire rack. I'll just leave them there now overnight, so for about 12 hours, and then we can check to see that all of the seals have sealed properly. You just press down on the top of the lid, uh, and you don't want to have it bounce back. It should just stay nice and tight. If any of the bands around the outside loosened while you were boiling away, don't worry about it. It's just the lid that you want to make sure is sealed, that dome lid. The bands will be able to tighten again tomorrow once we've made sure that all of the seals have sealed. So I'll be back in 12 hours and we'll check all of our seals. Okay, so I've left my jam to cool down for 12 hours and I've gone through and checked all of them. So basically, this is what you want to check for. You want to make sure that when you press the top, 
it's solid it doesn't move there's no little up and down movement this one's already been opened so that I can show you the difference and you can see and here that that one hasn't sealed so I've gone through and checked all of those and they're all sealed obviously except for that one so now the jam is done you can put labels on it saying homemade strawberry jam you can put a little cover over the top and make them very pretty if you're giving them away as gifts otherwise they're very yummy to eat once you've opened them do keep them in the fridge uh, to make sure that they stay nice and fresh but otherwise that is your homemade strawberry jam thanks so much for watching I'll post the recipe and what I did below if you've got any questions please post those below if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my videos to see what I'm up to in the future and posts that I've already done. Thanks very much!